Hi guys, I wanted to share this TN that I finished. I've probably mentioned it a few times, but sometimes I start on projects and then I just don't finish them and I go on to something else and I don't know, I just have this tendency to do that sometimes. And so this TN I had worked on back when I did my mermaid and fairy whatever micros and I wanted to do some B6s as well. But I never finished the V6s. So I was like, you know what? You need to start going back and working on those things and get them done and get them, you know, listed and whatnot. So this one was almost finished. And I was like, okay, I'm going to finish this one up so I can get it off my list of things I need to do. So this is a B6 uh, traveler's notebook. And um, I forgetting the name of the paper at the moment, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is what it looks like and it's going to come with this dangle charm. This is a unicorn, um, sequin unicorn. And I did, you know, add some bows and stuff. And this is one of those, um, sequin things that change colors. So when I, saw this it reminded me of this paper I had it in my stash and I knew I wanted to make a charm with it so I um you know put on a lobster class and I added these bows I did white ones because of the white in the paper and just thought it was really cute of course it's removable if you don't want to have it there um I'm not sure if it'll if it's too long for right here but that's just how I attached it it is on both sides really cute <clears throat> so you'll get that and then this notebook when you open it up it has three lined paper inserts um, so when you open it up here's a clear pocket and it has some cards a washi card and some stickers here's your first insert here is a page marker that I did then here's your folder. It has some cards and some stickers as well. And then here's your second insert. So it has like the mermaids and the fairies. And then here's your third insert. This is all papers from the same collection. This is like a watercolor design. And then here is your back cover. This one is actually pretty heavy. But um, this is what it looks like. So, um, yeah, it's going to be up in the shop if anyone is interested. After I, I made this one, I started doing my covers a little bit longer. This is, I think, 11 and an eighth total. And I started doing my B6s at 12 inches. So it's just a suit. Well, this is a tiny bit shorter this way than my ones I've been making lately. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested, as always, check the link in the description box to my exhibit shop and that's where you'll find it and any of the ones I currently have left in stock. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.